And I think that this interconnectedness really is an example of land stewardship, which is the idea that you take care of the land that you're on so that it can last for generation and generation and that it keeps producing for your child's generation and your grandchild's generation. Hey everyone, so uh, as we've seen from last time, this month I am going to be featuring different recipes during the month of November because it is Native American Heritage Month and I thought I could use food to discuss a little bit about um, Native American history as well as just talking about the cuisine and how they uh, make their recipes. So uh, this time around, I am going to be talking about Three Sisters Soup. And this is a very well-known soup. I think that many different tribes have them and each of them will do it probably in a slightly different way. The three main components here are the three sisters, which is corn, beans, and then squash. And the reason that they're three sisters is because they're interconnected in how they grow. So what happens is the beans, they contribute nitrogen to the soil. So they fertilize the ground and they will grow up the stalks of, of the tall corn. Then what the squash will do with their leaves is kind of spread out onto the grounds and they keep the moisture in and keep the weeds out. So they kind of all grow and they help each other out. So this recipe in particular, I got from the Chickasaw uh, tribe website. Now they are a group that originally was from southeastern uh, United States, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee. And then during the forced removal, they were moved mainly, I would say mainly to Oklahoma. Um, and so they have a, a lovely website with a bunch of um, information on their tribe and then their recipes as well. So um, yeah, I think that this will be, uh, it's actually a really, really delicious recipe with how just simple and earthy uh, and, and vegetable heavy the ingredients are. So I hope you guys all enjoy this one. So this is a one pot recipe. Get everything ready and then just throw it all together. It's so, so easy. And the only things you have to really prepare is a yellow squash, which in London apparently it's hard to find, um, and then one cup of corn. And afterwards you just throw everything together. So I'm gonna put the website and the ingredients all down below, but we're gonna start off with a half a cup of uh, quick cooking barley along with six cups of water, some beans, some onions, some garlic. Uh, you guys will know the rest. The recipe actually called for frozen corn. I happened to freeze mine uh, afterwards. We have some kidney beans, uh, Ingo the squash, uh, some tomatoes and potatoes as well. So all down below, all into one pot. You want to bring the contents up to a boil and then lower it down and simmer for 30 to 45 minutes until the potatoes are to your liking. And afterwards, just season to taste. Now, one of the things that I've noticed about Native American recipes is they actually don't put in a lot of salt. I don't think it's in their uh, cuisine to do so. So you guys season to your liking and yeah, this, this soup is done.
I tell you all, this soup blew me away. I mean, there wasn't a lot of seasonings, right? There was some garlic, some onion, just a little bit of salt, and then all of these vegetables. It came together and it was so, so good. And um, of course you can serve it with bread if you want. I have some wild rice as well to the side and it just makes the perfect meal. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this recipe and please stay tuned. There are three more recipes to go and they are fantastic. As usual, if you want to see more recipes like this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys all again next time. Bye!